Hey, so good day, Mike Mata here. We're going to talk to you about a free tool from Microsoft called Visual Round Trip Analyzer. Very useful in profiling HTTP applications. So you can see right there, Microsoft.com, where to go get it, or just search for Visual Round Trip Analyzer. Been around since about 2009, and once again, free from Microsoft. Click the download button and install it. And basically, it uses Netmon to uh, capture the data and provide that information but we all know you know we can take a trace with pretty much any tool even Wireshark save it uh, in a cap format for Netmon and then import it into this tool so what I did is I took a capture of Microsoft's homepage go into Microsoft's homepage I captured that using observer here and here's kind of what that looks like starting connections we can see there's there's several connections getting started uh, across multiple ports or if we click on server client totals we can see that there are six ports that are actually in use starting a connection to Microsoft's website and you can see here just you know via the quick and dirty info from expert my favorite piece of observer here it takes about uh, 60 milliseconds oops oh, sorry there I closed that a little too far it takes about 60 milliseconds for the three-way handshake to um, start the, the connection to their web server and we also noticed that the re average response time 115 milliseconds and we had some retransmissions and we all know that retransmissions can may point to network problems we see the total duration of this was about 15 seconds and you know when it started and and when it stopped and again we take that trace and I basically took it into Wireshark saved it took it into Wireshark and converted it to a Netmon version 2 trace which is what Visual Round Trip Analyzer uses I imported that trace simply by clicking open here and I said give me the uh, filtered observer capture file open that file up and started with the main chart it says here are my six ports again observer showed us that same information that there were basically six sockets getting set up and you can kind of see some things happening on those sockets right from the beginning if you highlight you notice um, there's the first connection you kind of hover there and it wants to go away there it is and it tells us uh, a lot of information here again the connection type is a keep alive but you can see the response code is a 200 OK uh, the packet information there towards the bottom 64 milliseconds to start the three-way handshake and then we see the get CMSS styles sheet information and as we go here across the tops there's statistics we can see how many uh, K bytes are image GIFs, JPEGs, ping, PNGs versus JavaScript. Uh, one of the other things I like is it shows us too that if we used compression, you know, that we could actually make this better by just using compressibility here, that uh, the images could be compressed. All the files here, are all of the files, uh, URI information that get, get sent and kind of the, the timeline of when all that happens from the beginning and you know you can see the whole process 15 seconds in the status code what gets returned uh, there's just a lot of great great information here that you can you can get uh, as we go across we can see the IIS server version that they're running uh, beginning end frame number information when the when the information expires uh, we can even see the actual uh, sort of request if you will that gets gets sent and what information is is in there time to first byte my favorite piece of information is what I like to think of as server processing so how long did it take the server to find that information and begin to start uh, sending it to us and as we've talked about in many many application profiling metrics here round trips is kind of key if, if I got to go to the server how many times do I got to go to the server uh, if my if my 
network round trip time is you know easy math 10 milliseconds so if I've got 18 round trips that's 180 milliseconds so very easy to get a lot of this wonderful information and then my favorite is the analysis of how well this site performs so we can see they 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 give themselves an F on bandwidth efficiency but overall a C which is about the kind of student I was C student so I can't complain about that but we see uh, and I did fail a few classes, so we got to let that be as well. Bandwidth efficiency, you can see there that it's how well the page is able to utilize the available bandwidth. And again, you see the efficiency rate there is 18% and the average bandwidth 950K. Where the max that we had available to us was a little over 5 meg. Compressibility, it says, we talked about that, that things, let me move my mouse out of the way, things can be compressed and uncompressed and again if we compress it you get better performance expiration date rule uh, when you return to the site how, how things will be cached and reused average TCP port rule again you know how many concurrent connections are open and obviously six is good you know the more connections we have the, the less net effect of retransmissions will have on us or packet loss some other rules there, redirect rule, unblock JavaScript rule, time to first byte. We talked about server response time, server processing time. In this case, they score an F. Average file size rule, HTTP keep alive rule. Uh, see one of my other videos on that. Image clustering and packet loss rule. Also the TCP window size rule, we've talked about TCP window sizes for flow control, white space rule, the favorite icon rule, and upstream single packet rule that, you know, if we're going to send a request, a get request, we want to do that in one single packet and not traverse multiple packets. Again, most efficient. So a quick and dirty free tool that you can use to, to uh, give you some information as to what's going on with your website and uh, how well it's performing. So thanks for listening. Make it a great day.